So here on our farm, we have some scaredy cat ducklings. I mean, like their defining trait is that they are afraid of everything. And at this point, they're not even ducklings anymore. They're young ducks. They spent the first six weeks of their lives living inside that brooder shed there. They get to go outside, but they're not really generally around with other older ducks. I've tried experiments where I've had them go live with an older duck, but that failed miserably. They're now of an age where they need to grow up and go join the Quacken. And this is the point where if you're new to our channel, you're probably saying, well, what's the Quacken? Release the Quacken! <laughs> Yeah, the Quacken is our flock of ducks that we have here at Goldshaw Farm. Morning, chickens. Hey, Alexander Hamilton. Come on out. Hey, guys. Come on out. Come on out. Release Mickey. I don't integrate these ducklings right, I could have a lot of problems. I could have an issue where some of the ducklings get killed. I could have an issue where there's like two factions that form within my flock and that they're constantly at war. And especially given the fact that these birds are so skittish, I know I need to be like double careful. There's a couple of precautions here I'm gonna do today. First off, Toby and all the geese are gonna stay down here today. The chickens are gonna stay down here too for the most part, but I'm sure they can just hop the fence and get in. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take our drakes and I'm gonna actually have them live in that little tractor right there. Drakes are usually the worst aggressors when you're integrating two flocks. Boy, I'm really starting to dislike the drake. Hate the drake. So I'm gonna separate out our drakes and keep them away from the rest of the flock for a week or two. I'm not sure if you guys have noticed this, but a lot of our female birds are starting to look banged up. Mating between ducks, it's, it, it can really take a toll on the ladies. A lot of them have like a naked neck um, behind their head. You know, I think in the last video, I mentioned to you guys that I was selling to the ducklings and I actually ended up not selling to the ducklings. The people who were buying the ducklings actually wanted the older ducks instead. I actually sold them yellow neck and I actually sold them uh, one of our other older hens. Bye. But because I sold those two ducks, that means that Yellowneck's son, who you guys saw in last video, is, is actually gonna be staying with the flock and he's gonna be the third drake that I keep on. All right, so the two drakes we actually need to get in here are Mundungus Fletcher and our gigantic Pekin duck, Samson. All right, Samson, I need to grab you, buddy. He's easy to catch. He's a fighter. He's really strong. Like, he feels about as strong as the geese do. He's a big, big bird. Easy, Sam's. Easy, buddy. All right, here you go, homeboy. I'm going to put you in here for now. I'm going to bring Mundungus and some food and some water, and you'll be all set. I like Mundungus Fletcher a lot. He was also from our original flock of ducklings that we first got on the farm about two and a half years ago. He was the biggest one, but he was also sort of generally friendly, and so that's why I picked him amongst the rest of the flock. This is gonna be your bachelor pad. Yeah. You'll get used to it, don't worry. It's gonna be cool. I'll get you some food and water in a minute. You lining up to watch the spectacle, Pablo? <laughs> it's okay, kiddos, it's okay. Out you go. There you go. That's the direction I want you in. Come on. Watch out. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, the fence post is a barrier you know, have to deal with. Come on. All 
All right, all right, all right. Hang on, relax. I'm gonna take this fence out. You guys can slip through easily. There we go. In you go, there you go. All right, it's now much later in the day. I don't know, I'll call it afternoon. It's time to check on our little ducklings, or little ducks, I should say, and see how they're doing. How do they fare in the duck yard? Hopefully nobody got murdered by a goose or something, and everybody's sort of coalescing into a decent little happy flock. Hey, Toby Dog. How's it going, buddy boy? You doing okay? I know, it's been weird. You haven't had your favorite place to hang out today. Instead, you've had to sit right there on that doorstep. The geese seem a little bit fascinated with the Drake Shack, but that's fine. Samson and Mungungus are doing okay. Little ones, so oh. hiding in the corner because I'm here. You were doing pretty good. You were adjusting pretty well to the ducks. Then our older ladies seem to be doing okay. We got Jemima Puddle left. And the Cayugas. The other girls are here. We got that broody duck still hanging in there. I keep having to evict her. Get out of there, lady. You're not supposed to be in here. Get out. Go, go, go. So what do you say, guys? Were they okay? <laughs> the new good roommates, Ron Swanson? You know, two of them are going to look very similar to you, Ron Swanson. Those two dark ducks? They're probably going to look a lot like Ron Swanson. I don't know if they're male or female, though. Come on, let's go, House Slytherin. Come on. Sending everybody to bed. In you go. There we go. Thank you, House Slytherin. In case you guys were wondering, we did end up with a name for our owl. We had some really good suggestions from you guys. Runners up included Hedwig, but I didn't want to call her Hedwig just because she's not white like Hedwig was. And then somebody else suggested Owl this Dumbledore because he's back here. He could keep an eye on uh, House Slytherin over there. But then somebody else came up with Al Pacino. <laughs> so Al Pacino it is. No, I'm just getting warmed up. And I'm going with that one honestly because it's got limitless possibilities for bad impressions as well as movie clips. So there you go, Al Pacino. Say hello to my little friend. There we go. You're gonna be that jerk. Come on. It's always one goose. It's never the same goose. In you go. Come on. There we go. Let's do a quick check of the Drake Shack. How's everybody doing in the Drake Shack? Mundungus? Samson? You guys are rasping away. You got food, you got water. Good. Don't worry, guys. This is only going to be for a week or two. Then you'll get to go back to the ladies. I just need to give them a little rest, okay? The drink is good. Blanche and Dottie, how did you guys get in here? Okay, I will admit, I do not think this is going to be fun. All ducks, go to bed. 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 Come on, Jemima. All ducks, go to bed. All ducks, go to bed. Oh, you guys were almost getting it. If I can just get you in, it'll be golden. There we go. 
think I might have to resort to hand delivering these guys. All right. Come on. It's okay. Oh, finally, they're all in. Well, that was no fun. Finally all in. And I've never had an easy time getting birds up that ramp for the first time, but they'll get used to it. Whew, not fun. What I'm really curious about is to see how they do coming out tomorrow morning as one flock.